Hey, this is Saf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn how to play the Imperial March, a solo version of the Imperial March, Darth Vader's theme from Star Wars. Now, first I'm going to play it, then we're going to dissect it, we're going to learn it slowly, lick by lick, with tabs on the screen and everything. So first, let me play it, and then we're going to break it down and learn it. It goes like this. <laughs> Okay, that's basically the whole thing. Now, um, there's a second part, but it's not as interesting to play in a solo. Um, now, what you're gonna do, let's take the reverb off. That was just for effect. Um, now, you use your third finger to play the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, and you play it three times. Uh, play it with your third finger because you're gonna need your first finger and your pinky for different frets So this is the position um, So you play it three times Okay, and To achieve the staccato feel you just stop pressing the string after you picked it Okay, you just take your finger off and You don't you don't leave the string completely, you just stop pressing it. Okay? You let the pressure off. Okay? And that creates the staccato feel. Um, and then, with your pinky, you play six on the A string. Okay? So it's... That's your next note. And then, using the third fret of the G string, with your first finger, you play the complete arpeggio. Every, all the notes you just played. So you play three, five, six, and then three and five again. Okay, three on G, five on D, six on A. Okay, and remember, this is a solo. You don't want to mix the notes together. You don't want to um, clutter it. Okay, it's not together. It's a part. Every time you pick the next note, you take the pressure off of the previous note. Uh, but this is the position. It's an E flat major arpeggio. Now this is quite melodic, but the secret of achieving the weird sound of the Imperial March is that you play the E flat major arpeggio upon a G minor chord. Uh, the G minor chord uh, lies uh, underneath as the main harmony, and the E flat major causes the, the G minor note to sound weird because then you get a sharp five. It's a G, you get a, the solo, causes the ear to hear a G minor sharp 5 chord because it's both E flat major arpeggio and the G minor chord so you get this chord okay this is weird so that's why the imperial march sounds so cool because it's uh, it's a melody upon a disharmonic chord in relation to the melody, okay? Uh, I hope you got it. If not, doesn't matter. Just play it. So, again... Okay, that's the first line. Five, 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 six, three, five, six, three, five. Now, second line is uh, three on the B string with your first finger. Now, the, three times. The next note is four on the B string. I like to hammer it on. Okay, but you don't have to. You can play it. Uh, but I like to hammer it on as an embellishment. Okay, 
So the next note is four, then three on the G string, then four again on the D string. Okay? And then again, six on the A string, and three on the G string, and five on the D string. Okay, again, the E, the e flat major arpeggio. Okay? Now, why does this sound cool? Because you just moved from E flat minor to E flat major. The four here on the D string is actually taking the uh, E flat major down to mi minor. Okay? So this is major, this is minor, five to four. So it's actually, uh, the, the melody is minor back to major. Okay? Minor back to major. And just think that this whole thing lies upon a G minor chord, so it sounds even weirder. That's why it sounds so good, um, because John Williams is a genius. So, the next, the second line. Okay? With my little hammer on there. Now, uh, the second part, the chromatic part. Uh, you play eight on the B string. And then you can either play five on the D string or an open G string. Okay? The only difference in sound is that the D string is, of course, fatter. It's a fatter sound. And G is a thinner sound. So whatever sounds good to you. If you like the thinner sound, go for the open G string. If you like the fatter sound, just play the five on the D string. Okay? They sound a bit different. Each one, each person, and his preferences of sound. So, and then, um, 8, 7 on the B string. Now, you prepare three fingers on 4, uh, 5, and 6, and you do this. Okay? You pull off from 6 to 5 to 4, and then play 5 again. Okay? So the entire line is... Okay? 8, 7, lick. And then you play 6 and 6 on D, then G string. Okay? And then 5 on the G string. And then the same chromatic lick, only this time on the G string, from 4 to 2, and then 3 again. Okay, 4, 3, 2, and you pick the 3. So it's 6, 6, 5, lick. Got it? So together they sound like this. And then we're back to playing an arpeggio, and we play uh, 6 and 5 on A and D strings, and then the 6 on the A again, okay? And then we play 5 and 8, and then 5 and 8 again on the D string, we actually, well, I could just say play 5 and 8 twice. And then 7 on the G string. So it's. This is what you play 6, 5, 6, 5, 8, 5, 8, 7. 6, 5, 6, 5, 8, 5, 8, 7. And the rhythm is. Okay, this is E flat, just E flat major, or PG. Okay? Um, 
Actually, it's E flat major. Ma it's E flat major seven arpeggiated. This is the major seven note. Um, and then you play this again. And then you play six, five, and six again. The E, uh, the E flat major triad, and then you play eight and five on the D string, and then six again on the A string, and then eight and five again on the D string. This is again still the E. Ma a flat major arpeggio. Okay, so the first ending is the second ending is okay, got it? Six, five, six, eight, five, six, eight, five. Okay, so let's play everything slowly from the top. Five, six. Three five six three five. Remember the the minor to major movement four to five, and then eight eight seven lick six six five lick first ending. Then again, and then second ending. Now the whole thing without me saying a word. I like to slide into notes a lot. You don't have to do it. I just like the way it sounds. So I like to uh, begin some lines with sliding into the notes. Okay, but that is it. That's the Imperial March solo version. I hope you enjoyed this. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of lessons and um, I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and you can, of course, go to the website. The link is in the description. Go to the website, download the tab for free, of course. Everything is for free. The lessons are free. The, the tabs are free. But if you want to give something back, there's a donation button on the website, and you can donate whatever you want. The donations go back to Lick and Riff to making the lessons. So I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you the next time. Go have fun with this one.